we joined Isement to run a blood military complex in Anishtar. The fit is shown here, and can be found below in the description. The ADC is nice to have, in case you mess up, but fits without an ADC are certainly possible. Orb drive active. To enter the second room, you need a blood diamond tag, not the dark blood diamond tag. The rats in the first room don't seem to drop it, but the tags often drop from rats in anomalies. You don't need to destroy any NPC in the first room. You can see that the tag in cargo is gone after the command is given. The webbing tower is nice and webs him into warp. Landing in the second room. Orbit the structure at current range with afterburner on. Launch heavy drones. If you want to, launch your MTU, but make sure you bookmark it. Lock up frigates. The exact order of actions isn't crucial, but should be executed in a timely manner. Once you have locked a frigate, put your drones on it. Also lock up any destroyers while you clear off the frigates. Kill all the destroyers. All destroyers are gone. You can now let your drones do their work without any input from you. You can expect a bit under a minute to kill each battleship depending on your exact DPS. There are 11 battleships here. And the last battleship dies. Now, kill all the towers. The towers are dead. Damaging the blood control tower structure spawns the next wave. And the drones won't aggress it by themselves at this stage, so you can relax. But keep an eye on local of course, to be extra safe. As before, you will work through small ships first, up to large ships. When you're flying in Ishtar, the aggro against your drones isn't especially bad. But aggro behavior can seem to depend on the ship use. So experiment for yourself. And the destroyers are gone. Now, kill all the cruisers. Cruisers down. Then finally, kill all the battleships. Battleships die. Again, you don't really have to do anything while dealing with the battleships. But this time, the drones will switch to the structure once the battleships are dead. Keep shooting the structure. The next wave spawns when the structure is at 75% hull. wave spawns, this is the third, if the initial wave is counted. The frigates point and web you, so clear them quickly, as a priority. The frigates are gone. Now, Isaman goes for the Blood Ritual Supervisor, because it is the trigger for another wave. That next wave can, sometimes, contain a faction spawn. But, if you destroy the structure, and then, the Supervisor, that spawn would not happen. The 
cruisers don't really matter for an Ishtar, giving little reward in bounties. As he wants the chance of a faction spawn, Isaman kills the supervisor first, before killing the structure. The supervisor dies. As you can see, it's the trigger for the escalation chain, and the signature despawns, shortly after he dies. The last wave spawns. This wave can contain a faction spawn, but Isaman wasn't lucky, this time. Again, he clears figures first, as they can web and point you. Once they're dead, Isaman decides to leave his drones to do their thing, and shoot through the battleships, for some nice extra bounties. Once the battleships are gone, the drones switch to the cruisers. Although the cruisers may not be worth the effort, Isaman clears them, to tidy up. The site is fully cleared, and finished. Don't forget your MTU and your drones. Thanks for watching. Fly safe.